welcome to this lecture. Today, we are going to deal with these topics little quickly but in detailed approach. My name is Gunjan Subedi and as always, I will be guiding you in this topic with practical explanation and examples when necessary. Before starting, let me kindly remind you to subscribe to My Lean University, which is my initiative to deliver free and quality professional education to your screen. In the earlier lecture, we talked about an important concept in Lean, the MUDA, along with theories and case studies of Ronda and Bimel. In this lecture, we will study another important concept called MUDA. So what is MUDA? Mura simply means unevenness or irregularity. This could result in the pressure building up in the one part of the system, thus increasing the chances of generation of the defects or waste, which is also called Muda. Suppose a company runs at a slow pace throughout the year, and towards the end of the year or for the last quarter just to meet up their sales quota, the company starts producing more goods. As you can see here, there is uneven pressure building up between first three quarters and the last quarter of the year. This unevenness is termed Mura. So here, towards the end of the year, the pressure in production or Muri is built up, which in turn increases the pressure to the finances and sales department also. Mura simply means fluctuation or unevenness in supply, demand or production. There could be fluctuations in the production and similarly there could be fluctuations in demand. For example, suppose here there is fluctuation in production. First of all, the first month started with a high production and sometimes there was unpredictable and demanding work also. This created a pressure or muri to the workers and there was different results brought by the pressure to the workers. Similarly, there could be fluctuations in the demand of the product. Sometimes the demand is less and sometimes the demand is more. So as I told you earlier, fluctuation in demand depends on different seasons and customers preferences and there could be different reasons for the fluctuations. During the mid-COVID crisis, the demand for toilet papers went up by 300% in the stores. So, these fluctuations can depend on some special regions or occasions also. However, we can always have some ways to fight mura or unevenness. For example, we can have buffer stocks to meet any excess demand. But keep in mind that holding too much inventories adds up to the cost. We can also produce goods or deliver services according to the predicted or forecasted demand. Here, the company forecasted the demand for 9 to 12 months based on the demand of products for 8 months. Another way of reducing Mura is implementing lean tool called Hijunka or work or production leveling. Hijunka also helps in reducing the Muri or work pressure. Mura can also be reduced with other methods like changing product design and creating the standard workflow for all operators. You may have encountered some foreign terms like Hajunka or work leveling and standard workflow etc. in this lecture. This term may look foreign at the moment. Don't worry, we are going to study about these terms in more detail in the course later. So far, we learned about Mura and Mura. A lot of students get confused with these two terms and also with the term Muri, which we will deal in the next lecture. So let us understand these with our usual section, run the quiz. Suppose the scenario here is, Dinesh is a civil engineer who has handled the construction project of the road to be completed in one year. For the first seven months of the year, Dinesh utilized the time in planning the next two months for purchase and other three months for construction. As the construction part had to be done quickly, the quality control and proper inspection was not done. This caused the problem of cracking of the road and there were other quality issues too. Also, as Dinesh had only recruited 100 construction workers for the entire project and the project had to be completed within the last three months, they had a huge pressure of completion. Can you identify the Muda and Mura?
So seems like a long question here. It could be confusing to you. Let me explain. Basically, what Dinius did was utilize major time just for planning and purchasing. There was a rail construction work only towards the end of the year. And only three months of the entire project was actually used in construction. So there was a huge pressure. When we see timeline also, we see unevenness in the schedule. There is a pressure towards the end than the first part of the project. Any unevenness in the work is termed Mura. So here there is a Mura. Second, because of the unevenness, the work pressure had to be shifted to the workers towards the end. The work pressure or overburden is termed as Muri. I already told you that we will learn about Muri in the next lecture. Third, we also see here that due to work overburden and unevenness, there is effect on the quality of the product or in the case, the quality of the work. There is a generation of the defect or waste. There is a cracking of the road on the edges. This is the waste of defect. So, we call this Muda. There are more examples to come in the next lecture of Muri. And thank you so much for staying with me throughout this lecture. Before ending this lecture, let me remind you to join my Lean University's premium membership and enjoy a total free access for a limited time inside my Lean University's online library and get tons of free courses, free books and lecture topics on project management, Lean and Six Sigma, operations and supply chain, productive and preventive maintenance, quality maintenance, data science, industry and sales management, agile and scrum, kaizen or continuous improvement, and much more totally free, no strings attached. As we have limited seats, only the early subscribers will be given open access inside the premium membership. And remember, it's totally free. Please subscribe and share the video if you share the common belief that professional education should be accessible to all.